Okay, hello and welcome to the Bourbon Closet. Today, going to be doing a triangle blind tasting of two Booker's bourbons. Let's begin. <laughs> Booker's in question today is Booker's 2021-03. It's 62.75% alcohol. It is six years and five months old. Booker's 2021-04. It is... 62.2% and six years and six months old and 12 days. This is a triangle blind. So what that means is I have three glasses in front of me, but only two bourbons between them. Two of these glasses have the same bookers in it. One of them has the other bookers in it. The question is, can I figure out which one is which? And do I have a preference? Now, the reason why I want to do this tasting in particular is because I have tasted these two bottles of Booker's multiple times side by side. I have tried them. Heads up, where I knew what they were, I've tried them blind. And every time I've done it, I've never been able to figure out if I have a preference or not. I, they're different, but I can't, I, I don't know. I've been having a really hard time wrapping my head around these bottles. So... Let's see if the triangle blind can help. In the whiskey closet. Okay, here we go. Ooh, so much baking spices and like a cinnamony thing. Just deep, fun, ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay. By contrast, much softer. Mmm, oh, interesting. All right. I'm having a hard time already here. Oh, oh, bookers. Oh, just, oh, man, bookers is just such a ride. Huge, big, bold flavors. And such a progression that happens. I mean, it's just, oh, it's, it's a fun ride. That's for sure. Delicious. Okay, so first impression, really interesting. Second one, more honey, more barrel spice. Honey up front, much sweeter, sweeter honey, and then quick fade straight into barrel spice. Interesting. Same thing on the third one. So I already have a guess here. I think this this is one of them. This is the other one. And I think, from my recollection, that number one is going to be the 03 bookers, and two and three are going to be the 04 bookers. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, 
Mm. All the spice that's layered in it, it's got these just big, bold flavors, but it starts out with this really appetizing sweetness, almost more of a caramely thing in number one, more honey in the other two. And then it just blooms into all this like cinnamony, spicy, baking sort of spice notes. And then the, the finish is long, long, long. You get a lot of barrel impact at the end, but it doesn't really go dry. It doesn't get kind of tanniny. It's just this nice, pleasant, sparkly sort of barrel finish. Really good. And the proof is in there for sure. You get, you're get you getting that hot, 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 especially through the middle of that progression, if you will. It's really, really nice. And we're back. Everything's gone wrong in the whiskey closet tonight. The camera fell down, the lights turned off, and also, I got it wrong. <laughs> so I went and I checked and uh, found out what was poured, what my wife poured in here for me, and it turns out that she poured two glasses of the O3 and one glass of the O4 which is not what I said when I was tasting it. So, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I told you these bookers have been throwing me for a freaking loop. So, uh, what I know right now, I do know which one is which because I looked. So it turns out that the number one and number two were both the O3. And then number uh, three here was the O4. I'm gonna to have to go back and look at the video because I already can't remember because now that I know, I feel like that's what I said. But I don't think that's what I said. I'm pretty sure I thought these two were the 04 and this was the 03. Is that what I said? I don't know, I was wrong. This one's the 03, these, and this one is also the 03, and this one is the 04. And so now that I know that, if I come back to these, mmm, delicious. Number one, fantastic. Number two just doesn't smell the same as, as number one to me. It just doesn't. Ugh, I mean, it smells good. Honestly, I think number one smells the best of all of them. It makes no sense. It's just... Mm. And then number three... They're so similar. I got that honey thing, barrel spice. Almost what I would think of as a toasted note in the middle of it that I'm picking up on now. That's, that's odd. Wonder where that's coming from. Oh, see now, I'm getting, see my notes weren't wrong. I'm getting a lot more of the Cinnamon spice fire out of this, less of the honey up front, more deeper caramel notes, much more of a ride to the O3. Ah, if I'm honest, I still don't know if I would say those were the same, even now that I know that they are. And they are. All right, tell you what. Let's try something. I can probably just mix these up and forget, right? I already forgot what I said the answer was earlier. Let's find out. We'll mix them. No clue which ones I'm putting where. I'm not really, I mean, obviously this isn't great because if I was really paying attention, then I would definitely remember, right? But I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to remember which one's which. I'm gonna get them all mixed up. Do you know which one? This is like that old shell game. Did you follow them? Don't pause and rewind the video, that's cheating. You just have to tell me if you've tracked it. Did you know, do you know which one's which? One more? Stop? Okay, stop. Let's try again. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Let's find out. <laughs> I 
just smells like good whiskey. That's all I've got. Ah, it's just so nice. Okay. All right. Those are the same. That's the odd man out. <laughs> Am I right? Probably not. Let's let's taste. Hmm. Getting that toasted thing in that. Wasn't I getting that on the O four? Yeah, big spice, big fire, big mm-hmm. So I'm thinking 0403, which would mean 03. Let's find out. Nope. 03. 04. 03. Can't do it. Can't tell these apart. Well, this has been the first horrible failure of an episode in the whiskey closet. Bye.